update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and the uh, only uh, the uh, only Debbie Downer out here is the Nasdaq 100. It's up 19 points. That's basically flat. It's up about a one tenth of a percent to the downside. The Dow's up 106, three tenths. The S&P one tenth or five points. The Russell's up 15 points, eight tenths of a percent. Eight tenths for the Sox as well. That's up 29 points. The trend is up 34. Gold is up 14 bucks. You know, we didn't take a look at gold uh, during the uh, Trader Z show, but it is in full out breakout mode. Now, what I mean by that, just temper that thought process. When I say all out breakout mode, it's an all out bullish mode. Now, when I say bullish mode, what we have gold doing today in terms of dollars, euros, yen, and pounds, it is above Friday's high. They are all moving higher out there. That's what you want to see for an instrument that is trading higher. You want it uh, green and mean on all of the trading desks around the globe. And that's what we've got with regard to gold. Now, let's go take a look at our nine panel indice charts as we do. And what we'll do here is we're going to start on the lower right instead of the upper left because the lower right is the XAU. And the XAU right now is trading above a prior swing point. That swing point high was 128.20. We're at 128.65. This is setting up an A to B equals C, D to the upside. Now, I imagine the GDX is doing the same out there. It may not be uh, just yet. Uh, I, I don't know if it is or it isn't. Uh, I'll tell you what, on a different screen, I'm going to take a quick peek while we keep this over here. Yeah, so the GDX has taken out its swing point, which was from February 2nd. That had 15 million shares. You're at 11.8. You're 12 million shares now. So you're going to have a confirmed A to B equals C, D to the upside. You're not getting a confirmed A to B equals C to the upside in Goldilocks, but you're certainly getting that inside of the XAU. As we take a look at the other industries, what Friday was all about so far was a test of the oscillator and change line. That's for the Dow Jones Industrials, the S&P, the NDX 100, the Russell 2000. Uh, the uh, wasn't uh, the case of the semiconductor index, although it's back above it today out here. So those first four, the Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, and Russell, they're signaling to you and I that there's the potential. The potential that what Friday's action was was generating the C point of an A to B equals C to the upside. We're not making that call just yet, but it is real possibility with that oscillator unchanged line level holding. So the only A to B equals C to the upside that you've got a confirmation on comes from the XAU, which means also from the GDX. So folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White, he's up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. Have a marvelous Monday, folks. Be good out there. Be safe.